My original impression from the first scripts of Penny Dreadful was that it's psychological horror of the best kind. It's not just a series of shock tactics. It's using the idea of horror as a metaphor for the human condition. The monster is not in my face, but in my soul. This is a show that involves the supernatural, so we have quite a few supernatural scenes. The one thing we said very early on is we don't want CG monsters. <laughs> There's something about them I find inherently false. I think audiences can tell if you're watching an animation or if you're watching an actor. I want you to be the mother of evil, looking over a black, dead world. Action. John Logan is involved in pretty much every facet of Penny Dreadful. He realizes that we're here really just to try and help realize his vision. And lean forward a bit. What do I give away? Nothing. It's a very skillful combination of the real, the built, and the computer generated. Very slim amount of computer generated, but crucial. Our process entails various different things. There's a lot of green screen elements. We're creating worlds that don't exist. Then there's uh, the work that we do, enhancing the things that are already shot on film. We're not trying to, to make a big, splashy special effects extravaganza, but really just to tell the story. I ask you to suspend your disbelief. It's a fine line that we always sort of have to sort of play of, do we try to do it practically, or is it better to just do what we can and then let the visual effects take over? The best reward for a visual effects supervisor is when people say, I had no idea that was a visual effect. The ultimate challenge and goal of Penny Dreadful is to say, we are all monsters. I believe in demons. I believe in monsters. Do you?